Hi, welcome to the Tinker's Workshop and part five of the Sosilva CNC machine enclosure build. In parts uh, one through four, we got through cutting all the parts and drilling them. And part four, uh, we had put together the stand. And today we're gonna build the uh, platform or the uh, base, what I call the enclosure base for the stand. And uh, these are made up of nothing more than a, a half inch plywood sheet and uh, some two by two frames. So this is what we're gonna to do today. The one thing I realized that the framing squares that I had used on the two by fours will not work with the two by twos. And so we're gonna use what came with the, uh, came with the uh, <laughs> pocket hole jig setup. Uh, let me zoom this in so you can see it, what, what I've got in my hands. This is a special clamp that uh, we can clamp the parts Marks together, and whoop, there we go. Get the parts together, and this will keep everything lined up nice and tight. And so we're going to use that on these two by twos, and hopefully get everything uh, screwed in uh, nice uh, the way we want it here. So let's give it a shot here. We'll we'll uh, go ahead and clamp this up, and uh, see what I can do here. We got everything lined up here, and it's like a vice vice grips. So we're just going to go ahead and. Put it on either side of this part. Whoops, a daisy. Get it lined up. And I'll get a close up view of this in another shot. We're just going to do this one this way for the beginning. And whoop. There we go. Oh, that's nice and tight. That ain't going to go anywhere. Beautiful. Now we'll run a screw in there. Forward, okay. And that's it. That's just that quick and easy. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and uh, make up two frameworks. And uh, they're both out of two by twos. Uh, one's for an upper portion of the plywood and one's for the bottom uh, portion of the plywood. So we'll go ahead and put the two frameworks together and then we'll add it to the uh, half inch plywood and that, that assembly will be done. It's gonna be that quick and easy. So uh, let's, let's continue on. Just like so. There we go. Now that we got both frames uh, assembled with uh, wood screws, uh, we have to mount one on one side of this plywood and another one on the other side. I'm gonna run screws through the face of the plywood into the two by twos. So let's get that set up next. Now that I got the two by two framework underneath the plywood, I've got a layer of glue down and everything lined up and all the holes have been pre-drilled. So next, I'll just a matter of taking an uh, inch and a half wood screws in and screwing the plywood down to the framework. So now that I got the enclosure base completed, I had to put it on the stand to get this upper framework mounted. What I did was block it out with two by twos in the corners so I could get it all centered right, mark it all, pull this framework out, lay a bead of glue down, put the framework back down, clamp it into place for a good half hour, 40 minutes. Then I could go and take the entire assembly, flip it over and mount screws in from the underside. So then I know it's good and solid. It won't, uh, it won't break loose on me or move anywhere. So the next step will be the, uh, the doors for the enclosure and the framework for the enclosure. And this will be set up just like these frames here that I did uh, with all the pocket holes. It'll be clamped together and screwed and uh, we'll be ready to go. So that's the next step. Well, after quite a bit of work, I finally got all the doors and the uh, framework for the enclosure uh, built. 
And this was nothing more than frameworks, just like we did before on the platform. These are the door frames for the sides in the back, and these will be skinned with half-inch plywood. And these are just screwed together with uh, pocket screws like we did before. And then these are the uh, doors. These will be the doors for the front. And this will have a, a plexiglass window in here and then a plywood panel in here. And that will be uh, the next thing we'll be looking at. And then we also got all the... Uh, enclosure frames done and these are quite a bit larger and these are these are set up just like the other frames are just screwed together two by two screwed together to make a framework so in uh, part six uh, stand by for part six but I'm going to go ahead and, and skin the doors and start putting the framework together and the upper uh, top of the enclosure I've still got to work that out. I think I'm going to have to put a window in the top simply because the lighting in my workshop here will make it uh, a good thing to do. So stand by for part six. I'm, uh, I'm hoping you're, you're following along. And again, have a good day and keep on tinkering.